Frog and Toad All Year. Written and illustrated by Arnold Blabell. The five chapters are Down the Hill, The Corner, Ice Cream, The Surprise, and Christmas Eve. Chapter One Down the Hill. Frog knocked at Toad's door. Toad! Wake up, he cried. Come out and see how wonderful the winter is. I will not, said Toad. I'm in my warm bed. Winter is beautiful, said Frog. Come out and have fun. Bah, said Toad. I do not have any winter clothes. Frog came into the house. I have brought you some things to wear, he said. Frog pushed a coat down over the top of Toad. Frog pulled snow pants up over the bottom of Toad. He put on a hat and scarf on Toad's head. Help, cried Toad. My best friend is trying to kill me. I am only getting you ready for winter, said Frog. <coughs> Frog and Toad went outside. They tramped through the snow. We will ride down this big hill on my sled, said Frog. Not me, said Toad. Don't be afraid, said Frog. I will be with you on the sled. It will be a fine, fast ride. Toad, you sit up front and I'll sit behind you. The sled began to move down the hill. Here we go, said Frog. <coughs> there was a bump. Frog fell off the sled. Toad rushed past trees and rocks. Frog, I am very glad you are here, said Toad. Toad leaped over a snowbank. Oof, I could not steer the sled without you, Frog, he said. You are right. Winter is fun. <coughs> a crow flew nearby. Hello, crow, shouted Toad. Look at Frog and me. We can ride a sled better than anyone in the world. But Toad, said the crow, you're alone on the sled. Toad looked around. He saw that Frog was not there. I am all alone, screamed Toad. <coughs> Bang! The hit sled hit a tree. Thud! The sled hit a rock. And plop! The sled dived into the snow. And so did Toad. Frog came running down the hill. He pulled Toad out of the snow. I saw everything, said Frog. You did very well by yourself. <coughs> I did not, said Toad. But there is one thing I can do by myself. What is that, asked Frog. I can go home, said Toad. <coughs> Winter may be beautiful, but my bed is much better. <coughs> Sorry. Chapter 2 the corner. Frog and Toad were caught in the rain. They ran to Frog's house. I am all wet, said Toad. This day is spoiled. Have some tea and cake, said Frog. The rain will stop, and if you stand near the stove, your clothes will soon be dry. And I will tell you a story while we're waiting, said Frog. Oh, good, said Toad. When I was small, not, not much bigger than a pollywog, said Frog, my father said to me, Son, this is a cold gray day, but spring is just around the corner. I wanted spring to come, so I went out to find that corner. I walked down a path in the woods until I came to a corner. I went around the corner to see if spring was on the other side. And was it? said Toad. No, said Frog, it was only a pine tree, three pebbles, and some dry grass. So I walked into the meadow. Soon I came to another corner. I went around the corner to see if spring was there. Did you find it, said Toad? No, said Frog, it was only an old worm asleep on a tree stump. And then I walked along the river until I came to another corner, and I went around the corner to look for spring. Was it there, asked Toad? No, said Frog, there's only some wet mud and a lizard who is chasing his own tail. You must have been very tired, said Toad. Yes, I was tired, said Frog, and it started to rain. I went back home, and when I got there, I found another corner. It was the corner of my house. Did you go around it, asked Toad. I went around that corner too, said Frog. What did you see, said Toad? I saw the sun coming out, said Frog, and I saw birds sitting and singing in a tree. 
And I saw my mother and father working in the garden. And I saw all the flowers in the garden. <gasps> you found it, cried Toad. Yes, said Frog. I was very happy. I had found the corner that spring was just around. Oh, look, Frog, said Toad. You're right. The rain has stopped. Frog and Toad hurried outside. They ran around the corner of Frog's house to make sure that spring had come again. Chapter 3. Ice Cream One hot summer day, Frog and Toad sat by the pond. Oh, I wish we had some sweet cold ice cream, said Frog. Ooh, what a good idea, said Toad. Wait right here, Frog, and I will be right back. Toad went to the store, and he bought two big ice cream cones. Toad licked one of the cones. Mmm, frog likes chocolate the best, said Toad, and so do I. Toad walked along the path. A large, soft drop of chocolate ice cream slipped down his arm. Ooh, this ice cream is melting in the sun, said Toad. Toad walked faster. Many drops of melting ice cream threw through the air. They fell down on Toad's head. I must hurry back to Frog, he cried. More and more of the ice cream was melting. It dripped down on Toad's jacket. It splattered on his pants and on his feet. Where is the path, cried Toad. I cannot see. Frog sat by the pond waiting for Toad. A mouse ran by. I just saw something awful, said the mouse. It was big and brown. Something covered with sticks and leaves is moving this way, cried a squirrel. Here comes a terrible thing with horns, shouted Rabbit. Run for your life! What can it be? asked Frog. Frog hid behind a rock. He saw the thing coming. It was big and brown. It was covered with sticks and leaves, and it had two big horns. <gasps> Frog, cried the thing. Where are you? Oh, good heavens, said Frog. That thing is Toad. Toad fell into the pond. He sank to the bottom and came up again. Oh, drat, said Toad. All of our sweet cold ice cream has washed away. Never mind that, said Frog. I know what we can do. Frog and Toad quickly ran back to the store. They sat in the shade of a large tree and ate their chocolate ice cream cones together. <laughs> the surprise. It was October. The leaves had fallen off the trees. They were lying on the ground. I will go to Toad's house, said Frog. I will rake up all of his leaves that have fallen on the lawn, and Toad will be very surprised. Frog took a rake out of the garden shed. Toad looked out of his window. These messy leaves have covered everything, said Toad. He took a rake out of the closet. Hmm. I will run over to Frog's house, and I will rake all of his leaves. Frog will be so pleased. Frog ran through the woods so that Toad would not see him. Toad ran through the high grass so that Frog would not see him. Frog came to Toad's house. He looked in through the window. Oh, good, said Frog. Toad is out. He will never know who raked his leaves. Toad got to Frog's house. He looked in the window. Oh, good, said Toad. Frog is not home. He will never guess who raked his leaves. Frog worked hard. He raked the leaves into a big pile. Soon Toad's lawn was clean. Frog picked up his rake and started home. Toad pushed and pulled the rake, and he raked all the leaves into a big pile. Soon there was not a single leaf in, in Frog's yard. Toad took his rake and started home. But then a big wind came. It blew across the land. The big pile of leaves that Frog had raked for Toad blew everywhere. And the pile of leaves that Toad had raked for Frog also blew everywhere. When Frog got home, he said, Tomorrow I will clean up the leaves that are over my own yard. But how surprised Toad must be. When Toad got home, he said, mm, Tomorrow I will get to work and rake all of my own leaves. Oh, how surprised Frog must be. And that night, Frog and Toad were both very happy when they turned out the light and went to bed. Chapter 5. Christmas Eve. On Christmas Eve, Toad cooked a big dinner. He decorated the tree. Frog is late, said Toad. Toad looked at his clock, and he remembered 
who was broken. The hands of the clock did not move. Toad opened the front door and looked out into the night. Prague was not there. Hmm. I'm worried, said Toad. What if something terrible has happened, said Toad? What if Frog has fallen into a deep hole and cannot get out? I will never see him again. Toad opened the door once more. Frog was not on the path. What if Frog is lost in the woods, said Toad? What if he is cold and wet and hungry? What if Frog is being chased by a big animal with many sharp teeth? What is he is being eaten up? Oh, cried Toad, my friend will never have another Christmas again. Toad found some rope in the cellar. I will pull Frog out of the hole with this, said Toad. Toad found a lantern in the attic. Frog will see this light, and I will show him the way out of the woods, said Toad. Toad found a frying pan in the kitchen. I will hit that big animal with this, said Toad, and all of his teeth will fall out. Frog, do not worry, cried Toad. I am coming to help you. And Toad ran out of his house. And there was Frog. Hello, Toad, he said. I'm sorry to be late. I was wrapping up your present. You're not at the bottom of a hole, said Toad. No, said Frog. You're not lost in the woods, asked Toad. No, said Frog. And you're not being eaten by a big animal, asked Toad. N no, said Frog. Not at all. Oh, Frog, said Toad. I'm so glad to be spending Christmas with you. Toad opened his present from Frog. It was a beautiful new clock. The two friends sat by the fire, and the hands of the clock moved slowly to show the hours of a merry Christmas Eve. The End <laughs>